Now, on my entrance, um, you notice Mr. Lovell uh, used a vortex gun to, uh, to do something to me, and you've probably not seen one of these. But it's a gun that shoots a gas. Now, you normally think of a gun as shooting a bullet or something, but this one shoots a vortex of air. And it's got a, a little diaphragm back here, and it's got some rubber bands, so it's a little like a slingshot. So if I go like this, I can shoot people with air. And that's what we call a vortex. And there are many ways to make a vortex. And I have one over here, an apparatus that will make a vortex, that in fact will be, uh, you'll be able to see it. I have here a plywood box. Uh, it's hollow on the inside. And on one side is plywood. And you see there's a hole here. And on the other side is a rubber membrane. And then there's a little uh, uh, wood uh, disc here that I can move in and out. Now, you may wonder why I do all that, because we are able to make a vortex come out this hole. But of course, if I just did it like this, you wouldn't be able to see it any better than you could over there. So we need to make some smoke. Now, there are various ways to do that. And I'm going to use a chemical called titanium tetrachloride, whose um, only useful property, as far as we are concerned, is to make smoke. OK? So I'm going to put this around the rim of the hole. Just put it on there. And then just for good measure, I'm going to put the copper swab, cotton swab inside and seal off the bottle so it's not making so much smoke. And then I'm just going to tap it on the back. That's right. They're smoke rings, or as we prefer to call them, they're vortices. And uh, vortices are around us all the time, but you don't normally notice them because usually they're invisible. But in fact, uh, you can have a vortex coming off the wingtips of a large airplane. And in fact, pilots have to be very aware of wingtip vortices, because if you fly too close behind a big airplane, it can upset uh, the plane you're flying in. And so uh, pilots have to be able to visualize those vortices that come off the wingtips of airplanes.